All right, so here I have a 20 euro bill, and as you can see right here, I'm not sure if it's in focus. I think so. All right, so I'm going to make it disappear with this pen right here. So let's go. There we go. Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inezalea and today it's Filmmaking Friday. We're going to take a look on how to do some magic with video editing. I will put a link in the description below so you can follow along with the exact same footage as me. 20 euro bill and as you can see right here, I'm not sure if it's in focus, I think so. Alright, so I'm going to make it disappear with this pen right here, so let's go. There we go. First of all, I imported my video in Adobe After Effects. I recorded the entire thing on a tripod. That way it's easier to remove the money. Drag the footage into a new composition. I duplicated my shot and trim it for the length of the hover over the money. So the actual animation where I start kind of putting my pen on top of the money, that part I started my trim and then once my pen did the entire hover over the money, there I will end my clip. I only need to edit that part, so that's cool. This video is going to be used for rotoscoping, basically we want to mask out the money below the pen, but as there are some details on top of the money, such as my hand and the pen, we need to rotoscope these out to put them back in later on top of the money, so we can fix all the imperfections, but later on you will understand why we do that. So we will rotoscope the pen first, and then we will rotoscope my hand. I rotoscope everything individually, this way we can tweak everything later separately, and also it gives you a better overview. So let's start with a pen, make a simple mask around that pen, make a mask path and then animate that mask as time goes on until you're done with your entire hover. Then next rotoscope the hand and do the exact same thing. Once you're done with that layer, you can make it invisible and then duplicate the original footage again. Then I'll go to the end of my clip and find a spot where I can see my background clearly right here uh, because we're going to use that as a clean plate. So where my hand, the money and neither the pen is in the shot. Here I'll right click on my footage and freeze my frame. And now you can also uncheck that for now. Then we want to take our frozen frame video layer and mask out the money below the pen. So make a mask through the pen and then below where the money will fall through and mask that, animate that as well as the pen moves up. And in this case it doesn't have to be perfect because we actually made a rotoscope of the pen itself and my hand so we will put that on top later. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. So once you're done with that layer, we can make it visible. And now we can also make our rotoscope layer visible with our hand and the pen and put that on top of this layer. Now that will cover up all the imperfections where the mask went through the pen and now you will see the pen perfectly again. Tweak all the masks where needed. 
and bam, you're done. It's that simple to create this kind of effect. Uh, feather out the mask a little bit to hide the imperfections. And that way you get a better result. And then once you're done tweaking everything, you can render this entire video out, bring it in Adobe Premiere Pro, add it to a new layer as well. And then we can apply a preset from our camera shake preset, which you can get on our website. We'll also put a link in the description below. This really helps to kind of sell the effect, make it more realistic and more organic. So adding a real camera shake will really kind of hide the fact that it has been done with visual effects um, because yeah, aesthetic shot is easy to do visual effects on and kind of to hide uh, the amateuristic look and feel of that video, you can apply a camera shake preset on top of that. So. All right, so here I have a 20 euro bill and as you can see right here, I'm not sure if it's in focus, I think so. All right, so I'm going to make it disappear with this pen right here, so let's go. <laughs> there we go. As you can see right now, this is the final result. It looks pretty cool and now you can do some magic with some video editing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphics artists and much more. And then I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.